Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality back with you here today to go over an article I found on OutKick that's kind of one of those like, well, yeah, I kind of figured this is the case sort of situation. So, article, like I said, from OutKick from April 8th says liberal parents more likely to raise depressed children with substance abuse issues, <laughs> which, yeah, again, uh, probably could have figured this was the case. So I haven't read this article yet, so let's see what it has to say. It says a new report has revealed that in a stunning turn of events, that's probably meant sarcastically, liberal parents are significantly more likely to raise depressed children with substance abuse issues. And that's according to psychologist Dr. Leonard Sachs, who explained to the Washington Examiner why the phenomenon is so consistent. According to Sachs, liberal parents engage in aggressively permissive parenting styles that leads to a lack of proper authority and discipline as children mature. Instead of focusing, or instead of instructing children how to behave, these parents attempt to influence their kids by modeling what they want to see. So Sachs referenced a specific instance with a six-year-old girl. The girl's mother refused to tell her to open her mouth for a sore throat inspection, saying it was her body, her choice. <clears throat> Sounds about right. Yeah, of course it does. It says kids need to learn discipline and proper behavior to avoid engaging in the worst excesses of modern culture, which is exactly the opposite of what liberals do when raising them, according to Sachs. But if parents are permissive and let their kids spend hours a day on social media and playing video games, then kids are immersed in that toxic culture, and that toxic culture we know leads to anxiety, depression, and disengagement, Sachs explained. Honestly, it feels like he's stating the obvious. The results of permissive parenting have become abundantly apparent, especially in recent years. Mental health and substance abuse are massive problems that are only getting worse, and mental health issues especially affect those on the left. Yeah, and I want to see what this actual link goes to here. Let's see. <clears throat> um, something on uh, Fox News. Uh, let's go, computer. But just to finish off the article, and we'll come back to this uh, Greg Gutfeld article popping open there. It says, with no incentive to change and, and consistent cultural incentives to remain the same, these issues will only accelerate. But hey, at least on top of destroying their children, liberals are destroying cities too, of course. So yeah, I have seen studies before that say that people, like it had, you know, far left, left, center, right, far right, and it showed that people definitely on the left and far left have more instances of mental illness uh, than conservatives, which goes as well along the lines of like, if you want to be happy and healthy, and the happiness thing too tends to lead more, much more actually in a conservative side. If you want to be happy and healthy, you conservative. <laughs> so it's why so sad liberals, study shows young liberals more depressed than conservative. Everybody declared Thursday what day was this on? Compared to the ready counterparts, the studies show it, and you can see it for yourselves. which comes complete with a beautiful chart. You know you can trust anything with a chart that has colors. And the line at the on top of anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you, but the least depressed in case. 